Hello loves, so I did it. I bought myself the passport size traveler's notebook in a camel color. I really love my standard TN, so I decided to buy myself the passport to use as sort of like a wallet and just take it with me everywhere because my standard TN is more of like a creative outlet and I wanted a traveler's notebook that was more business and held important notes that I'm not necessarily going to decorate or go crazy with stickers. I wanted something that I could take with me everywhere and anywhere. Not that the standard is too big of a notebook, but as you've seen, it's pretty chunky. And I just wanted something smaller that I could journal on the go. So far, this thing is so tiny. It is the cutest little thing. I love it. It's literally like half the size of the TN, if not less. Like, it looks bigger here on top of it, but in person, it's just so tiny. I love it. The leathers are completely different, and I say that in a good way. I'm sure each one will patina in its own way. I still really love the classic brown, especially with that ombre effect in the spine, but we'll see what happens with the camel one. I have all these charms. They're becoming a little obnoxious, but I really love collecting charms and anything that looks like a charm bracelet. <laughs> you can tell from the inside that the leather is different as well. I feel like the passport is more of a fuzzy leather. And the standard has almost like a fabric on top. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to explain it. But that's what it sort of looks like. I also find that the camel is very soft and floppier. Even though they're both the same thickness. They're both really nice leathers. And I love them. I love how the camel is just more of a suede and matte finish which i'm sure will change within time but it's a nice softer feel i like how tiny the little blank notebook is i was just in shock of how small this thing is it's gonna be perfect for its intended purpose As you can see, there isn't any ombre effect, but the passport size is built identically to the standard size with the notches and the attention to detail. Now I'm gonna do a very basic setup because like always, I don't have everything that I ordered in the mail, but I can't help myself. <laughs> For this one, I want it to be more of a traveling theme since I will be taking this one with me everywhere. I purchased this little brass luggage charm since I love the brass Japanese trip charm in my standard TN. 
I love how it patinas, just like the fountain pens do. I also got this cute luggage tag, which I thought would be appropriate. I love the details that Traveler's Factory puts into their little charms, like the little stitches on the front and back. It's the little things that makes this company so special. I purchased a monthly planner for this year, even though I'm a little late, but it came with the benefit that it was 40% off in my local stationery shop. I wanted this to keep track of my appointments and have an overview, like a bird's eye view of everything that I have to do. I love the little stickers that come with it. I can't wait to use them. I almost don't want to, but that's the point of having them, right? I gotta use them, I'm not gonna hoard them. I also purchased a sketch insert just to see what the difference is between the blank. I heard that these are good for watercoloring. Not that I intend to watercolor on the go, but if I'm camping or something, I could take my watercolor set and just do something and probably transfer it into my standard TN. So after a few moments just tinkering around with the setup and adding a few things that I love like the lacy washi tape on the side, this is what I have so far. I added the airplane charm that I had in my standard TN on the side. I didn't really like having the charm on the spine area where the tin connector is because I didn't really see it. So I thought I would just put the brass have a nice trip with the airplane clip and include that airplane charm and I feel like it fits really well. Here I decorated my notebooks very simply. I didn't want anything chaotic or anything too distracting. I just wanted this to be a more peaceful, simple setup. this notebook I feel like I'm gonna hold like my travel log and like anything that just feels memorable while I'm walking around and doing things with my family I'm not the type of person that will quickly whip out my phone and like post things on Instagram I really like the analog life and just taking things slow and really enjoying the moment I really love how cute this looks. If you like these types of videos and if you're just a lover of the Traveler's Notebook system, consider subscribing below for more content like this. Well. 
this is the end of my setup of course I'll update you once everything comes in the mail thanks for watching I'll see you next time <laughs>